Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Jamara J. Smith and it is my desire to help you find your purpose, fulfill your destiny, and to have successful relationships in every area of your life. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Jam Fam. Now listen, I know it's been a while. I know, I know, I know. But we are now in the year 2024. I want you to know Know that when you walked into 2024, you walked into a year of favor. You walked into a year of favor. And what is favor? Favor is unreasonable, uncommon, unexplainable preferential treatment. What is favor? It is unreasonable, uncommon, unexplainable favor. Say it with me. Favor is unreasonable, uncommon, unexplainable preferential treatment. And that is what you, my friends, have walked into in 2024. Now, I know a lot of you have been praying and believing God for manifestation, and you've a lot of us have grown weary and well-doing, but I want to encourage you on today. I want to remind you right now that 2024 is your year. It is your year not just to pray a thing, but to see a thing with your physical eyes. You're going to see the manifestation of those prayers that you prayed about 5, 10, 15, 20 decades ago. This right here is the year that you're going to see it. When you receive favor, it is worth more than a degree, is worth more than life experience, and there's nothing wrong with the degree, nothing wrong with life experience, but favor is unexplainable. You're going to be the type of person where you're only going to be able to give credit to God. You're not going to be able to say it was because of this, it was because of that, it was because of that person, it was because of this circumstance. No, all credit is going to go to God. Because favor is uncommon, unreasonable, and unexplainable. Preferential treatment. You have been diagnosed with something. I can attest to this. I was di diagnosed years ago with cancer. And my daughter told me to get my affairs in order. I had my two kids who were all young at that particular time. And they said, get your affairs in order. You only have X amount of time to live. And I told them, I said, I hear what you're saying because you're my doctor. And I know that that's what you have to tell me. But you don't understand who I am. I am a child of the most high God. And what that comes with is favor. Some of us believe that when we gave our life to Christ, that it was only for a ticket into heaven. And I'm here to let you know that that's not the only thing that you received. That's just one benefit. When you gave your life to Christ, yes, you got your ticket into heaven, but that also came with a benefits package. Do you hear me? It came with a benefits package. And see, this is the thing. A lot of us don't know what's inside of our benefits package. That's just like when you get a new job. One of the reasons why you would weigh the pros and the cons of multiple jobs is you're going to look at the salary and what else you're going to look at the benefits package. You want to know how much am I going to make and what are the benefits? Well, listen, part of the benefits package is healing. So when I received that, that doctor's report, I knew that because of my benefits package, because of your benefit package, it included health and healing. So I prayed and fasted, and I've already told you this testimony before. God healed me completely from cancer. I am a living, walking, breathing miracle. And so what I'm here to remind you is not that he's not a respecter of person. What God did for me, he will most definitely do for you. Healing is just one portion of your benefits package. Prosperity is yet another portion of your benefits package. You do not have to suffer. You do not have to live uh, paycheck to paycheck. You do not have to worry about how you're going to make ends meet, how you're going to pay bills because you signed up for the benefits package. Yes, you have a ticket into heaven, but you also have a ticket to prosperity. You have a ticket to health. You have a ticket to healing. You have a ticket to peace. You have a ticket to love, unconditional, unconditional agape love. And so once we understand and know what's a part of our benefits package, what is the next step? The next step is to believe by faith 
for your benefits to manifest into your life. It's one thing to know about your benefits package. And again, some of us don't know. Again, some people believe that when they give their life to Christ, that it's only for a ticket to heaven. I'm, I'm saved by grace. I've given my life to Christ. And now I know I'm going to heaven. And, and, that's, and they're content in knowing that. But that's why we have to get into this word and read the word of God for ourselves and get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for ourselves. Yes, we are to listen to teachers and preachers and pastors. But once they give us that message, it is up to us to get into that word of God for ourselves so that we can understand it on our level, so that we can comprehend it on our level so that we can live it out in our day-to-day -day life. And sometimes it takes things happening to us in order for us to get into the word of God, but not for 2024. No, most of you know that you don't have to go through trials and tribulations to get in the word. You can do it on your own free will because you want a relationship, a real relationship, a true relationship with God. And in order to do that, you got to spend more time with him, getting his word, praising, and worshiping God at home, at your convenience, not just in church, not just in the four walls of the church on Sunday. And so what we do is when we get in that word and we get that understanding, God will reveal to us the benefits that go along with salvation. And so for 2024, like I said, it's a, a part of that benefits package is favor. And again, what is favor? It is unreasonable, uncommon, unexplainable favor. And favor can be found in Luke 2.52, where Jesus increased in wisdom, understanding, and in favor with God. If Jesus can increase in favor, then you can increase with favor. And you should take that scripture, Luke 2.52, and put your name where it says Jesus. So instead of saying Jesus, you're going to say your name and I'm going to say my name. And Jamara increased in wisdom and understanding and in favor with God and man. And so you're decreeing and declaring that the favor of God to manifest into your life. Why? Because that is a part of your benefits package for 2024. I want you to use that favor to your advantage. When anything comes up in your life on any, uh, on any level, I want you to understand you have favor, uncommon, unreasonable, unexplainable favor. The checks coming in the mail, that's favor. That email that you're going to click on for prosperity, that's favor. That uncommon witty idea that was downloaded by the Holy Spirit into you, that's favor. These are all a part of the benefits package when you gave your life to Christ. You received uncommon supernatural favor and that favor will take you further than anything else in this world. So I want to leave you with that on today. As a reminder for 2024, you walked into this year with favor, unreasonable, uncommon, unexplainable preferential treatment. That is your portion for 2024 in Jesus name. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and put in the comment section what you are believing God for, for 2024, and what area where you want God to move with uncommon favor in your life. I know I have some things that I want God to do for me in 2024, where favor is the only way that is going to happen, and I know that God will get all of the glory. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.